All right, we're here at FIC at the Temporary Open Mogul Lab. As you can see, we're a very organized team. The wizard. <laughs> the doctor. Hi. So Mickey's going to share some new developments for us. What do we have here, Mickey? So uh, recently I've been uh, doing some research and development for ongoing uh, development for the NEO platform, Mogo platform. For instance, I've been uh, toying with some uh, speech synthesis thing. Okay. So uh, for instance, let's see what's, or rather let's hear what's the time. The time is now almost 10 past 7. Oh. So and, uh, we can just uh, read, or rather hear an ebook. Um, what do I have here? I think it's like... Uh, um, let's see. Oh, yes. And Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. But once or twice she had peeked into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book? Thought Alice without pictures or conversation. So that's Alice in Wonderland, and um, but not doing uh, only audio stuff, but recently uh, looking into uh, new base libraries for the future uh, models or even the current models. For instance, I've uh, been looking into Direct FB, which is a base library for all kinds of uh, efficient graphic stuff. Okay. Let's see. Uh, they have a benchmarking tool. It's uh, like DFC uh, Doc. Yeah. So this is a uh, DirectFB benchmarking, and uh, although this is the the Neo 1973 GTA 01 version, um, it got quite some horsepower. It just needs to be used in an efficient way. So uh, this is kind of interesting. It, uh, uh -huh. It's a pretty pretty efficient library. So uh, we may use that in in some future versions of the platform. Okay. So, um, um, also doing some research with uh, enlightenment uh, based libraries, for instance, uh, using the Exhibit, which is kind of a benchmarking tool for the. Oh no, that's wrong. That's actually that's actually quite interesting. It's not um, what I wanted to show, but anyway, I'll show you that one. Um, this is exhibit is a is a is an image viewer based on the enlightenment libraries as you can see there we have the thumbnails and we can uh, choose one and uh, it gets displayed here so uh, we see this uh, the orientation is not not really good for this kind of application so yeah let's just uh, twist okay. it um, it's like Uh, it's like that, so I think you should follow so that, uh, yeah, right. <coughs> I try to operate it while it's uh, twisted, so um, we can see a full screen and then we can zoom. Oh, it's not zooming, it's uh, just wandering around in the image and then go back and uh, see some other stuff here trying to scroll for instance yeah I think this is quite good <laughs> yeah so by now you should uh, have noticed I'm a Simpsons fan yes <laughs> we all are yeah who is not um, so this is kind of a really really advanced uh, viewer um, and it's um, it's almost fast so quite good um, but uh, let's come back to this, uh, to the promised uh, benchmark stuff, which is called XPDI. Um, minus e. uh, I guess I will keep the rotation like that. And um, and here we go. So this is XPDI, and let's just. Has some strange navigation, so 
here. All fluid interfaces. Let's just uh, do some tests. This is all tests. Yeah. So this is uh, the Enlightenment benchmark utility. And um, yeah, it's probably less exciting than the DirectV one. But uh, the thing it does under the hood is quite, quite interesting. Hmm. So, yeah, on to some uh, more interesting stuff for the for the user as I've been looking into the actual video performance. Okay. And um, like I said, this is GTA 01, so uh, the performance is not that good, but um, we are quite looking forward to the future.